right back to Oubre, and oh. he dunks it right on top of Macon. Last year, Kelly Oubre Jr. was living in a dorm room and going to classes as a Kansas University freshman. Now, at just 19 years old, he's getting ready for his first game in the NBA. Kelly Oubre. It's a moment that you work your whole life to do, to, to get to, so it's kind of surreal. Like, you can't, you don't even know how to chalk it up as like a certain feeling. And Oubre. Oubre only played at Kansas for one season, but that's all it took for people around the NBA to take note of his athletic ability and tremendous potential. Potential. A lot of athleticism, and uh, you know he can shoot the ball well too. You know from range, so uh, that that already gives him an advantage with long arms and you know with his wingspan, his height. You know it gives him a good upside. Even though Ubre was born with all the tools to succeed on the court, his path to the NBA wasn't without adversity. I come from New Orleans, New Orleans based. Uh, I moved to Houston when I was nine years old due to Katrina. Uh, lived in Houston for nine years as well. Then I went to Finley Prep in Vegas. Then I went to Kansas University. And now I'm you know, playing for the Washington Wizards. So I mean, I've been traveling my whole life, moving around. But it, it, it was all for a reason, and it was all to get me here today. Oubre's father decided to evacuate his family from New Orleans on August 28th, just one day before Katrina hit. I play with a chip on my shoulder uh, because I come from nothing, man. I come from you know a city that, that, that Mother Nature tried to wash away. I was 19 years old in, in Baton Rouge, 45 minutes away from New Orleans when uh, Katrina hit, and I saw a lot of people. And my cousins and stuff had to go through that, and I know a lot of people uh, would not have been able to go through that, you know. But it shows the type of heart he has, the type of perseverance. Him and his father—that's real big, and that's the type of guy that I would love to have on my team. A guy that, that's able to go through something like that and, and make his dream come true. Oubre woke up the morning after the storm in a roach-infested Houston motel room with everything he knew back in New Orleans. I could have lost everything, but I didn't. And, um, you know, I'm a strong, I'm a strong fighter. I'm a strong survivor. So, you know, it's a killer be killed in this world, man. And, and I play, you know, my game reflects that. While Katrina left Oubre with a chip on his shoulder, that wasn't the origin of his fighter mentality. My first sport was actually karate. I was fascinated with the karate kid and everything. So I got a black belt and I was like, I, I want to try something else. So I went to basketball because my dad always played basketball. So I saw him play and it looked fun. So I went, I went, I tried that route. Oubre says karate gave him a sense of accomplishment, but he's also found a way to bring some skills from the dojo to the basketball court. It's a lot of footwork in karate. So, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm pretty good at, at, at you know, my zen, keeping my zen, like my body relaxed throughout a lot of stuff. So that's one of the reasons I think I could jump so high because I know how to control my body in that way. It's no surprise then that the first impression Oubre has had on his teammates is his strong competitive edge. Our first uh, uh, pickup game here, he was going at Brad and he was, he was talking trash, but in a competitive way because he wanted to get the best out of Brad. He wanted Brad to go at him. Like he wanted that. He was upset that he wasn't. Um, so you have a kid like that that's willing to work, but then also is demanding the best out of you. Uh, he's got a bright future if he keeps that mentality. The Wizards are coming off their second consecutive trip to the Eastern Conference semifinals and are loaded with proven bets. Shot clock winding down. Field fires. Oh, in. While playing time may be difficult to come by for most rookies, Oubre's ability to defend and shoot from long range could land him in the Wizards' rotation. The way we probably going to start playing uh, with four guys that can you know spread the floor. Um, you know, he definitely has, you know, a chance to get in there. Coach Witt, he likes to play guys that know what they're doing and, and come out and produce. So he's going to have a chance to, to show what he can do. You know, so he's just going to have to keep his head down, work hard, and, uh, and try, to, try to get his minutes. Oubre Jr. won't have to look far to find examples of young guys who contributed in their inaugural season. Coming into this program, they, you know, obviously Jay Wall, Brad, you know, two, 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 two players that made a name for themselves at an early stage in their career. And uh, I'm trying to do the same as well. Oubre knows that while his dream of playing in the NBA is about to come true, his ultimate goals will require more work ahead. I'm 19 right now and I have people looking up to me that are probably like 18, 17. You know what I'm saying? The dream is there. Everybody's dream is not going to come, you know what I'm saying, with it, within the time they want it to come. It's going to happen if you keep working like I did. You know what I'm saying? I worked my butt off to be here and I'm going to keep working my butt off to be hired.